If you're going to load dice, why two and four? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Meeple Madness is not in this. Okay, finally. There we go. Jesus Christ. I know. Well, thank you. No. I would like to... I'd like to go second. You want to go second? Yes. I want to go second. It's going to be the same text, but it says gains and loses. Okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And it will do... Hey! Summon or... Alberta. And then when he comes out the show, <laughs> I detach and add a Mephic card. Cyframe driver for my hand deck or graveyard. Yeah, so it's coming from hand. Oh, this is coming from hand? Yeah, the driver's coming from hand. Oh. And how many cards are in here right now? Three? Uh, I will have two after this. Two after this? Yes. And then you can special summon that. And if you do, negate the activation, and if you do that, destroy that spell card. During the end phase, banish the face-up monster special summoned by this effect. So I'll be banishing these two. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just negating it? I'm negating it. Oh, and in oh. case it matters, just go like that. I don't think that... Yeah, yeah it wouldn't matter. Okay. Um... I'll pass. Alright, in turn... Uh, be gone? Well, no, 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 to banish. Let's... Get, get out of here. Alright. And then draw. And I didn't feel like having any cards to guys, so uh pass turn. Uh if I control no monsters in the extra monster zone. Uh oh. Uh, special summon Sigma. Uh oh. Sigma? Okay. Sure. Which one are you? <laughs> Which one are you? Alright. Oh, you're just doing the initial special summon? Then should we lose the field also can. Okay. Fair enough. Um I will normal summon my rolling lock bird. <laughs> Don't you love it? I love it. Uh, and then I'll link it off. Okay. For summon great. I will normal summon my <laughs> rolling my lock bird. Uh, uh, you're the one that negates a battle. No. How does this work again? You have to make tribute this card turn unless you control. Can't be destroyed by card attack. Not battle. Card attack. Okay. Well. Fair enough. Do a link, so this will be banished. Uh oh, Rut row. And then we'll go into uh, Splash Mage. Hi, Splash Mage. Use the effect of Splash Mage to bring back a Cypress monster in defense mode. Effects negated. Okay. Purchase okay. someone for the rest of the turn except Cypress monsters. Okay. And yeah, I'm walking okay. Cypress monsters now. Hey. Indeed. Hey! Uh, I'll bring out uh, a subtraction. Okay. Uh, from this point on, um, I'll do a link of subtraction. Okay. So go into link decoder. Link decoder link is. Decoder. Oh, good God. <laughs> That's fun. And then That's from fun. here, we'll do link decoder in Splash Mage. No, stop, stop. <laughs> Transco Talker. This will trigger Link uh, immediately. So when I summon a monster, I think they'll go 20 or 100 more attack points. Is for this a link the one that's going to give them. No, no, that's a different one. Okay. Okay, never mind, we're good. So Link to Recover special some stuff to the graveyard when I link someone for a 20 or 100 more attack point monster. Right. Um, but Banshee will release the field. Okay. Uh, do Transco Talker ability to bring up a Link for a lower Cypress monster from my okay. deck onto the field so there's only points to. Yes. Um. Some Legend Zelda sounds for this Link deck. True, honestly, true. Uh, can see. Yes. <laughs> we have one card in hand and one card face down. That's it. It's just my bus pass. Uh, we'll do Splash Mage and Link Decoder. Okay. One and two. Okay. So go into Heat Soul. I'm sorry. No problem. Heat Soul. It's 500 for each monster. Points to. Okay. And it's in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That's my first draw card. 2,000 less points if I banish this card. So it's 2,800 attack then, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, actually, it can be 3,300 because when these guys, are, when these call into another monster, they both gain, you cannot target them, and they both ah. gain 500 attack. Points. Okay. Um, okay. And then, I'll take one K and draw a card. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, then I'll go another link. Hey! We'll activate that's effect. what I was looking for earlier. Okay. <laughs> to go 3k because I'm targeting my heat soul to go 1k for each link rating. Ah. That's going to be 3k. Yep. Yep. Uh. Right. 
and then with that, we'll target Moose's ability to banish Al Mirage and destroy one card on the field. It cannot be responded to. Right. No, I, I know I can't. I'm just I'm looking for it. True. It's a very famous card. $23. I can see why. It's, it's generic. <laughs> All right. So banish it. Does it have a condition face down? I, I missed it. Or is it just, oh, no, it's just destroy. Oh, no, it's just destroy. Destroy I'll be action okay. broken. Oh, dear. good it does right now though It'll anyway serve. we'll go to combat 5300 all right take 53 and we'll uh, pass there all right right on time right on time um pot vanish six vanish six yep uh once you vanish your six i'll ask you once oh uh hold on ah yep that is indeed add <laughs> that is the way that works Okay, well, we still have to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, can I just, just concede here? Is that okay? Yeah, no problem. No, no problem. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Spoiler alert, the card in my hand is not getting me out of this. <laughs> Spoiler alert there. No problem, no problem. Okay, so don't reset the timer is currently checked, and I need to hit reset now. With it, without, okay. All right, so make sure we do that correctly. All right. You, I like it. You, I love you. Um, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Jam out, don't you? We want to hear the inner anime dialogue. The inner anime dialogue. When I get to the point where I know the deck well enough, I'll try to do all the sideboarding. Where, you know the, the trick where you take all 15 cards, shuffle them in, and then take 15 out so your opponent doesn't know how many you have? <laughs> when you really want to get every single marginal point. But I'm new to this deck, so I don't know just yet. Alas. 15 and shuffle, take 15 out. Maybe we'll draw some action, folks, and not all control cards. <laughs> no promises, though. Alas, no promises. I would like to do a second. without mulligans and with a small hand size, five. I know it's a really consistent game, though. Or at, at least good decks are making it really consistent. Yes, sir. Case in point, as, as we saw. Well, guilty. <laughs> Gears drive. Or it's down in the meta. You know, they got circular, uh, so one. There is that. I don't know enough about Mathmech to know, obviously, since I'm reading the cards, to know where that should stand. We have, we have a hand. We have a hand, you're right, we have a hand. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see here. I'll go ahead and activate Small World of Revealing Ash Blossom. May 
guy. I'm sorry. Sure. Reveal a monster in your hand. Choose a monster from your deck that is exactly one of the same. Okay, excuse me. One of the same type. Attribute level. Attacker. Just say name. <laughs> <laughs> Advantage the reveal monster from your hand face down. Then add from the deck to the hand one monster that has exactly one of the same. Oh my god. And banish the card chosen. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, there's, there's a lot going there's on. There's a lot going on with that card. It's a bit like when you, the first time you read Pot of Prosperity, and it's like, but wait, there's all this stuff. What do I actually yeah, do? I'll, I'll it? explain it, because the text is a little bit confused, so I'll right. explain it here. So I'm revealing the Ash Blossom, right? Okay. So uh, i got to get a card from my deck that has only one of the exact same level, uh, attribute, uh, type, attack, or defense. Right. So if I oh, had... exactly one oh, of, exactly not one. all of the same. Yeah. Exact, so so they, I can't have two or more things that have the same of what I just listed. Okay. And then for a second, third card, I do the same thing, but only applies to the second card this time. And but I gotta get a card that has one, one of exactly one thing of this card here. Okay. None of this is cost. This is all just part of the effect, Revealing right? is cost. Revealing is cost, but the actual... The actual okay. effect that you just, you know, that's the, yeah, that's the whole entire effect My right there. My good god. Okay. Uh... Ash? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> all after all of that, no Ash. Oh, no problem, Ash. Um, 400 words versus one. Yes, sir. Who would win, an entire world or one cheeky girl? <laughs> one cheeky shrine maiden. I'll set two of us. All right. Well, I'm going to make you do it. <laughs> Gotta have to do it. <laughs> I know. You know of course you do. Well, I still have to get these out of the way. So. Gotta have to. Uh, you put me in a, in a no choice situation. Indeed. Alright. And, yeah. I thought maybe if I did three, you wouldn't dash it, but you'd dash it anyway, so whatever. Alright. Oh no! Oh no! Even three is so really good. Alright. Yada! <laughs> Why am I looking at this card? <laughs> because it's 2023 or 2003. You take your pick. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm going to try to poke you, and if it pokes you, you skip your draw stab. No problem. Uh, combat? Mm hmm. Or battle? Uh, I'll do Book of Eclipse. Which book of? <laughs> Pot of, book of. Change all face up monsters in the field to face down defense position. During the end phase of this turn, change as many face down defense position monsters you have as possible to face up defense position. Then your opponent draws cards equal to the number of monsters changed face up by this effect. Okay, so it's face down now. Mm -hmm. If I'm reading that correctly, I think when it goes back to face up defense position, it will still return to hand because at that point, the game will consider it face up and look at its effect again. I think. I don't think it matters too terribly. It's a spirit monster. Spirit monsters yeah, have this neat little. Hand. Yeah. I don't I know actually. That's, that's don't interesting. Know. Yeah, we can ask Shannon. I don't know the answer to that question. Just to make sure. Yeah, if you don't mind, just to make sure. Is there a way to? Oh, yeah. There's a pause button on there. That's how you do it. Right, Book of Eclipse and Spirit Monster. <laughs> ah. Whale, whale. If it stays face down, I know it doesn't come back, but. If it goes back to face up, I think it does. Hey, y'all, what's the question? Hey, Book of Eclipse, Spirit Monsters. Book of, uh, so, try to attack, Book of Eclipse, put it face down. Mm -hmm. Book of Eclipse is going to flip it up at end of turn. Yeah, it so... It will still come back to hand, right? That's correct. The reason why is because um, for end of phase, or end of, like, like for example, these both happen during the end of turn. Right. Um, players will basically go back and forth resolving end of turn effects. You have to resolve Book of Eclipse because it's the only one available. After that resolves, then a new end of turn effect needs to uh, resolve, which is going to be the one that bounces the spirit monster back to hand. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, okay cool. So... How long did uh, y'all wait for that? Uh, okay. 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, is there anything else I want to do? Nope. Hi! So draw a card mm -hmm. for book and then come back to hand. Yes, sir. And I could have used you earlier and then pass turn. Uh, let's see. Um, that is not good. I like poking with the bird. We'll normal summon code generator and pass. Oh no, it's bigger than a bird. It's bigger than bird. <laughs> Is it literally just normal summon it to normal summon it? Yeah, I normal summon to prevent bird from going into me, honestly. Okay. We stall in this game. Indeed. Alright. One card in hand, right? Mm-hmm. Alright. 
Let's try. This is the bandage section. This is the actual extra pad. There we go. Now that they, now that they matter. Uh, there's probably a way that order matters here. Uh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just make it. I'll make it easy on us. Uh, pot of extravagance. I'm going to banish at the start of your main phase one. So I haven't done anything else. Banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck. Face down. Draw one for each three cards banished. Since it'll be six, I'll draw two. Uh, however you want to do this. This is... I didn't bother, bother bringing my D15 here. <laughs> Alright. That'll be six. Okay. There we go. Get all my Alolan... Alolan Rapidex. Yep. Or not pony talk, a little pony talk. There we go. All right. There you go, all the pots. All the pots. Uh, pot of duality. I won't be able to special summon this turn, is, is the rule for this turn. Mm -hmm. So, is that good? That's good. One, two. <laughs> it's the same, it's the same take card. Take the ghost ogre, I guess. And then puts them on, shuffle them back into the deck. Can you can you activate an effect, please? I could I could use that right now. No, sir. No, 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 sir. All right. Would you like to cut? Mm -hmm. Get over here. The other pot and get rid of the last oh three. Oh my god! Who needs an extra deck? Who needs one? Um, it's good. It's good. So <laughs> we'll excavate the top three. Let me make sure I do this correctly. They will go on the bottom. This is the one where they go on the bottom of the deck in any order. Okay. One, two. Man Brilliant. Only has hand traps. The mono deck. hand trap deck. The mono hand trap deck. Oh, God. Um, Nibir is slightly as good when you actually know it's there, unfortunately. I, I'm afraid. But... Uh, Maybe I can keep some degeneracy. I mean, uh, I'll place in any order. Well, then make sure I put them in the right way. N Achievement yeah, unlocked. You, you no had Nibiru, deck. right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so Nibiru was the... <laughs> I was like, wait, there's two Nibiru's and the evenly match. All right. So Pada, Pada, Pada. That's another achievement. Um, hmm. Let's see. I would like to normal summon... Aratama, it's a spirit monster. Oh, okay. So, yeah, during the end phase, da 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 da, it's a spirit monster. When it's normal summoned or flipped face up, you can add a spirit monster from your deck to your hand, except Aratama. And I didn't want to play this earlier to deck then because I wanted to try to find an answer before using this. Yeah. But alas, you do what you have to do. Alas. 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 Are you? It's all hand traps. <laughs> it's all hand traps. Okay, here you are. Uh, Sakitama. Mm -hmm. Can't be normal summon once per turn in end phase. If it was normal summon, flip face, I return to the hand. Yay, spirit monster. Uh, let's see. You can only use each effect once per turn. You can reveal this card in your hand immediately after this effect resolves. Normal summon a spirit monster from your hand. If this card is tributed, target a spirit monster in the graveyard, add it to your hand. Yay. Alright. And then, would you like to cut? No I think we're done with search effects for the turn. I think, maybe. Just wonder, besides the Nibiru and all those other cards, what are, what's in your hand? That's yes. Crazy. Yes, I have an Uno card. I have a bus pass. I have. Oh dear. There's a lot in there. Yes. Uh. Sad is since there's a maximum hand size in this game, I'm about to have to run into it. Bro. Wait, what's it the hand like size limit again? Six. That's what I figured. Yeah. Unless you have a card that modifies it. Um, all right, let's clean up some end of turn effects here. Aratama, mm -hmm. return to hand. Yep. And then I have to send some stuff away. You know what? Ba 
The spirits go to the graveyard. It's flavorful. I really don't know anything about his hand. Pass turn. Let's see if we grab. Oh my god, these are the craziest draws. You actually know about half my hand, don't you? These are the craziest draws I've ever seen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. I'll go to combat. Ye. I'll go 1300 co generator. Okay. Uh, no effects to it? No effects. Okay. And then <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> oh, well, before you before you go to main phase, I have a evenly matched. Evenly and just matched. Pick one of the two. Which one gets banished? Mm, I'll, I'll just. Uh, would it matter? That goes to the graveyard, right? Anyway, it this will go to the graveyard. Yeah. It wouldn't matter. You can have my copy. Uh, I think it's banished face down. Well, well, it doesn't matter. It's, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter, though. It's fine. No problem, and, no and then, is, is that still turn? Yeah, that's turn. Okay. Uh, part of I have so many of these things Jesus right Christ, now. Jesus Christ, he's looking for something. <laughs> Whee! Imperial, what's this card? Yeah, uh, it's a I hate Link Monsters card. Oh. Uh, and, uh, spoiler alert, that's what I'm taking here. So pretty much because someone wanting something to link monster, you get draw yeah. cards plus one, you get link monsters, right. and you might target something on your field. Yeah, negate. so for example, when you link here, I'll draw two, put one back. Mm -hmm. um, it, well, if it's one link monster, I'll draw monster two, you put one back. I, it's the monster you control? Yeah, okay, no problem. All right, this is in the hand, and this is pot, so shuffle, really yay! Oops, all hand traps. Oops, all hand traps. <laughs> oh dear. Here's, here's how you make a deck. 37 hand traps and got a card. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. Um, hmm. I, I can do something from here. I'm just deciding if it's worth it. Last turn. That's actually that probably shot a terrible Garasu? idea. <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's see. If I control no monsters in the extra monster zone, I'll do Sigma. Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll go to combat. Code oh, no. generator. Uh. It's Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, so take 500. Yeah. We're playing old school Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> We're playing old school Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> okay, so you put Ghost Ogre into your hand. Oh, you, you saw that earlier. Yeah, I Off did. the pot of whichever one I felt like at the moment. I think that was the first duality. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting. I'll go to main phase two. Okay. I dare you, Link Summon. I dare you. <laughs> you have too many hand chats. I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> 1,800 defense points. All right. Pass turn. No problem. I almost did something I would regret. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost. Uh, Harpies. Um, one second. Uh, imperm your generator? generator? No yep. problem. Uh, 
I will normal summon Diameter. He doesn't do anything right now. Okay. Um, we'll do Sigma and Diameter for an XC summon. Okay. We'll go... We'll go Alversion. Okay. Uh, when, uh, also, keep in mind, uh, yes. since I used Diameter for an XC summon, I, until the end of this turn, I have an Omni Okay, so... Once Activates a card or a quick effect. A card or effect you can negate. Once per turn. Okay. And on his summon, okay. attach two to add any math map card from my deck uh, to my deck. We're going to Ash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I care about that? Do you? Do I? <laughs> That's a good question. Um. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, the harpies go away, by the way. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, in yeah, case yeah, that yeah. matters. Uh, I'll go to combat. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Yeah. Jeez, okay. No, you would have waited for something. I'll do 2K. Alright. That actually runs over the rabbit. How could you, you monster? <laughs> 1300. And then pass. One bird in a dream. One bird in a dream. God bless America. We're actually playing you <laughs> Well, not for long. Uh, at this rate, can I, uh, can, I want to show the camera what silliness is happening. Show it again, all right. Because the camera's right there next to you. All right. <laughs> Chat, I don't know what he has in his hand, but this is very scary for me. Oh, you shouldn't be scared. Chat, I don't know what's going on. That'll be fun to look at. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, it's the gymnastics team. See, my hand is Yada and four Exodia pieces. Totally. Totally. No way. No, no he way. He knows. He can see. He does see I already my know hand. what two he knows of them are. Right. I already know what two of them are. Uh, <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, indeed. Um, I mean, that'd be crazy. I lost to Exodia just regularly. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I'll do one card face down. Okay. Uh, go to combat. Yep. 1300. Alright. No effects on that? No effects. I really can't. Right. <laughs> uh, 2k. Okay. I cannot afford to. And then pass. All I right. really cannot afford to. Money, 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 money. Oh my god. <laughs> no. He's got five pieces of exodia. Uh, Harpy? What's your... What is it? It's the it's stupidest book thing. It's Book of Books. <laughs> <laughs> we both have Harpy. It doesn't make any sense. I... Because the rules too. <laughs> Past It wouldn't have mattered anyway. That's right. <laughs> it's the same card in my hand. Jesus Christ. Um... That's not going to do anything. Um... How many cards in hand again? Four. I will say for stream, this will be the longest game that anyone here plays tonight. <laughs> in terms of number of, of turns. So many. Oh, I just mean turn number, but yeah. Go to combat, do Alberto yeah. in the face down. Yagarasi, right? It's Yagarasi. <laughs> you called it. You called it. And then 13. All right. How many cards do you have in the hand? Uh, two. And okay. they're both very dangerous. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's it? That's it. If they're so dangerous, he's not going to play them. This is actually ah! just Yu-Gi-Oh. This is literally just like old school Yu-Gi-Oh. You, you want to see tragic, tragic moment? What's tragic moment? Hot of prosperity with no cards in the hand. No air cards in the Good game. No, that was actually a very so, interesting play old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Second Yada, two Nibiru's, and of course you knew about the Phantasme. Mm -hmm. Uh, what were, please, next card. Okay, that, no. No, <laughs> I've done something. Actually. Three Raigeki, two Lightning Storms, two Dark Holes. Noth none nothing. of which wanted to show up. I just have two effect veilers. I'm that's pretty honest. good. That's that's pretty and good. And I really... Okay, now I know it's in your hand. Maybe I could have actually done something, but I was right. just too scared. Right. No, that's that's fair. I was too scared. I was like... 
if I get rid of the ass. I mean, I could have counted the ass, but like at that point, it's like, do I want to afford right. to do that when the board state right now is in my favor? I actually, I, uh, I like actually the the dark holes are in the sideboard now. Mm -hmm. uh, their their main board because we're a spirit deck and we're returning so much to the field. The dark hole doesn't hurt me too much. Um, let's see. So it's one Nibiru main board, two in the side, and I'm not sure what to. Right. Apparently, Pot of Prosperity. Bad card. No, bad right. card, bad <laughs> card. All right. Um, three Ghost Ogres. I thought it was more important to keep the Ash in hand rather than the Ghost Ogre. Turns out that was that ended up being wrong, but I didn't know that. I was trying to keep you from playing, of, you know, drawing into another, mo or searching into another monster. Yeah. Which could just stall for another turn. Um... In retrospect, maybe Dimension Shifter could have gone out, but if it's in the opening hands, sometimes it blanks your turn enough that maybe I can get through. Uh, and then Fantastical, whatever his name is, that guy. Whatever his name is. He doesn't deserve a name. <laughs> the guy that didn't bother saving me doesn't deserve a name. A Fantastical Dragon Phantasma is side too. Fantastical Dragon Phantasma. Uh, and so it was, I took out the Dark Holes, uh, should not have and then the cyphering package uh, You saw it and it's four cards and I needed the room. I thought I needed the room I thought the ghost ogre made more sense if I don't if I still have an extra deck We can actually synchro into something um, But I was looking at that that pile of 15 but actually zero cards <laughs> uh, Zero cards to work with any extra deck. How'd you sideboard if you don't mind my asking? Um, really it's like it was hard to sideboard because I, like, I don't have a counter to like hand traps in here. Oh, so it's like you called. Maybe I could put in club. But it's only one copy, right. and you're running all hand traps. So well, it, I don't think it really matters too much. It hits the ones that go to the graveyard. So it hits technically Dimension Shifter. It hits um, Ash. It hits uh, Ghost Ogre. Yeah, have, that goes to. Graveyard. I would have to draw it, which is already True. a big task in itself. But I decided. I know the one thing I could get rid of. We were spelling traps, so I right. just did harpies and two cyclones. S smart, fair enough. Um, it and just because you activate any monster effects, because it was probably gonna be like if you activate monsters, it's gonna be in the extra deck. Right. So just in case I had three ghost, uh, ghost ogres. Good idea. Future rep, because that actually will kill Yada. It'll still go off, but that'll only blank you for one draw step. Future reference: If you see a spirit deck, it might be the case that they're like me and they don't want to keep their field. So I have evenly matched infinite and permanence, lightning storm. Yeah. All three of those care about having no, not even no monsters, no cards. Or I just and imagine so that up, like yeah. you're just gonna negate or just ruin all my plans. Right. So I'll just like, you know, I'll just try Fair and summon big enough monsters so I don't have to worry about that. Fair enough. You you, you did play through with the uh, infinite impermanence. There was a zone out and I'm like, wait, I want him to do it. I want him <laughs> to put a card in the in, in the permanent zone. Nah, I, right. I I got punished for that one time. I'm never going to do that Fair ever enough. Again. Dude, Dude Master Duel actually anything. shows you which zone it is. It nerfs the card. So now you can see which zone not to put them in. Don't put it in a zone. Right. Do not do that. And I didn't know enough, so I just put it in a pendulum zone just in case you care. It turns out you don't, but just in case. Yeah. Yeah, I would shoot for the middle pretty much every single time because people just play spell cards right. and stuff in the middle anyway. You're, and if I'm not paying you're attention, not you're, wrong. Punished, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Part of what I was worried about is I know that there's a Link monster that can steal your monsters. And so I, I thought, well, if I put my card in the middle, I may have just opened myself up to that. I don't know if he even runs it, but if he does, I might have just given him some. No. All right. Thank you very much, Jaden. I appreciate it. No problem. And don't forget to subscribe to Meeple Madness. This is right to Meeple Madness. Do it.